Hey, it's Arit here with Estatino Media where we show you how to create profitable content. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you some tips on what you can do to get to your 4,000 hours of watch time on YouTube so you can get to that monetization. There's actually something that you could do at every single stage of creating content for your channel where it's coming up with topics, whether it's filming, whether it's editing or promoting your videos. And remember, your watch time is divided across your entire channel. So you can get to that 4,000 with just a few great videos, and that's really all you need. But you also need to be consistent. So let's dive right into it. Okay, so the planning stage of your video content. Remember, watch time and watch hours basically means that you're keeping the viewer engaged. They're staying on your videos longer. They're interested in those topics and what you have to say. So we wanna find topics in your area that people are actually searching for, that are in demand. And there's many different ways to do this. I'll share two quick ways with you that we do. One way you can do this is go to the YouTube search bar type in the topic that you're thinking of creating a video on and try to keep it quite vague and high level. Don't go too specific with it. And then what you wanna do is come to the filters section, sort by videos that have been uploaded this month. And then what you're gonna do is look for the videos that have tens of thousands, just maybe even thousands of views and see what those topics are. So right here, three days ago, this has 11,000 views on it and it includes six YouTube growth mistakes and how to fix them. I'm scrolling down even further. This one right here, 35,000 views uploaded seven days ago. What you wanna do is look for topics that have those tens of thousands of views. They were uploaded in the last month and you wanna create your own versions of those videos. If it's a, a topic you can speak to, of course. Because what this means is, is that a lot of people are interested in this topic because it has lots of views in a relatively short period of time. The other thing that you could do is use a YouTube channel management tool like TubeBuddy, which is one that we use, or vidIQ if you use that one. And you just need to go to their keyword explorer tool. Again, type in your topic, whatever you're thinking of creating a video on, and then you can go to the video topics tab and really see what people are typing into the search on this topic. So you can see here how to grow YouTube subscribers, um, how to get growth on YouTube channel, etc. These are very um, long tail keyword phrases that people are actually typing into the search so you can go and then create videos on those topics. All right, now what can be done at the filming stage? to increase that watch time. Some people think that by creating longer videos that helps increase watch time, and that's not necessarily true because if your long videos aren't engaging, then people are gonna drop off relatively quickly. You don't wanna waste the viewer's time on YouTube. You wanna get straight into it, get to the point. The goal is to get the viewer to watch the entire video. And the way to do that is by giving the viewer what they came there for. So none of that clickbait stuff because the viewer won't get what they're looking for. You wanna deliver your content while you're filming without any fluff. And you can also say things in the beginning of your video to encourage them to stay till the end or incentivize them in some way. For example, make sure you stay to the end of this video because the tip that I have for you in the promote section, it's about playlists and it's gonna be a really good one. See what I did there? You can also use data or your YouTube analytics to see what moments in your videos are keeping viewers most engaged and then just replicate that. And I'll show you where to go quickly in your analytics. So I'm in my YouTube dashboard. I'm gonna click on analytics and then go to the content tab and then scroll down to where it says key moments for audience retention. So here you can watch the intros of your top videos that where people are still watching past the 30 second mark. So you can click on the video, you can play the intro. Let here, me show you how to manage and do that for all of them and see if there's any sort of pattern that arises and see if you can understand why people are engaged during that 
and again, replicate that. Do that in your future videos. It's always just being in competition with yourself to get better. That's what being a YouTuber is all about. Don't compare yourself to other YouTubers. Just learn from your own actions and make it a point to get better with the engagement. All right, what about the editing stage? What can be done in the editing to increase engagement and get people watching longer? Well, this is where your creativity can come in, into the editing where you create different cuts or bring in different stock footage or animation elements to keep people's attention on the video. And it really depends on your strength too. You know, if you're not that great of a speaker on camera, maybe your energy isn't quite there, then this is where some YouTubers tend to rely a little bit more on the editing to change up the cuts every so often. They say that you wanna make it a point to change up the cuts of your video every three to 10 seconds. I mean, even 10 seconds is long. And that's because people's attention spans are just totally shot and we wanna keep them engaged with some movement every so often on the video. However, having said that, if you're a really great engaging speaker, you're giving the viewer exactly what they want, then you may not need to rely as heavily on the editing piece. But if not, think of how you can add just one unique element to your editing that you're not already doing. So maybe right now it's just you talking on camera in one straight shot. Well, how about you know adding some stock footage in between certain things to bring out what it is that you're saying and it just brings more movement. Or maybe you have an animated element where you're bringing a shape on screen with text on it that really brings out the key points about what you're saying. We use a lot of jump cut editing in our videos, meaning it's not just one straight shot of filming, we're cutting out certain pieces in the filming so that it jumps from one cut to another cut. Okay, and finally, what can you do in the promotion stage of your video to help get to those 4,000 watch hours? And I'll share that cool playlist tip with you in a second, but first I wanna state the obvious, the more views you get, the more of an opportunity you'll have that people will watch your video. No views, no watch time. So do what you can to share your video. You know, if you have an email list, share it with your email list. If you have people on your social media, share it on social media. You can repurpose your YouTube videos. Like for us, we take our YouTube videos, we put it in a blog post or in our newsletter, and then send that out to our list. Because when you help YouTube boost the views on your own video and people are actually engaging with them, meaning they're clicking like, they're watching till the end. This is basically telling YouTube that it's good content and people are engaged and it will help push it out in the YouTube algorithm even more. All right, what's that playlist tip now? Let me share this with you. So you know when you're sharing the video with someone or like we just talked about on social media, sending it out to your list, what you wanna do is share the playlist link rather than the direct YouTube link. So of course, your videos want, you have to first put your videos onto a playlist. So let's just say you're a health and fitness coach and you did a video uh, giving nutrition tips and you wanna create a playlist that has your nutrition tips and put that video in there. Now, when you share that video, you wanna share the playlist link for that video. And I'll show you in a second where to grab that, how to grab that. So you want to head to your, in the back end, your playlists tab within the content section of your channel, and then go find the playlist that you put that video in. I'm going to click on this one here, and then I'm going to click on view on YouTube. You want to first find the playlist that that video is under. So let's just say it's this one. Hover over to where it has the three dots and then click on get shareable link. So it's gonna copy it, and then I'm just gonna open a new tab here, and then hit Control V on my keyboard to paste that link, hit enter, and then find your video within that playlist. Let's just say it's this one. I'm gonna click on it, and the link to share is gonna be at the very top right here in your address bar. So this link will not only lead to the video, but it will also show a playlist on the side here of other related videos that you put in there. If you just shared the direct video link, 
they would not see this playlist and not have the opportunity to explore more of your content on a topic that they're already interested in. So guys, there you have it. These are things that you can do in the planning stage, filming, editing, and promoting stages of your video to get more watch time, get your watch hours up to 4,000 so you can hit the monetization mark. And all you need to do is just rinse and repeat on your videos. It's not gonna help to just do this on one video. You have to already have a consistent publishing schedule in place and do this every time you release a video. And if you stick with it, you'll get there. You'll get to your 4,000 watch hours. If, by the way, you have an educational YouTube channel and you wanna learn how we leverage our expertise on our channel to earn five figures a month in revenue, I do have a free training for you that I'll link down in the description below, which will show you how to turn more of those viewers into customers. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.